So now we are going to be looking at the influence of site and situation on settlements. So we are looking at things like your wet point settlement, your dry point settlement, as well as your defense settlement. So things of that nature. So this image will represent a wet point settlement. Now what is the first thing that you notice? The first thing that you should notice is that there is water nearby, right? Your settlements are located near a water source. We can then see that there is farming taking place in the background. So now when you hear the word wet point settlements, you should automatically think of a settlement that is located near water because that's exactly what it is. So what is the definition of a wet point settlement? So there are settlements that are located near water sources, which provide essential resources for drinking, agriculture, and transportation. Because think about it, if you have a settlement, you're going to want to be near water that you can use for drinking, for farming, and sometimes they also use it for transportation. So what are modern day examples of wet point settlements? Cities like Cape Town are developed around natural harbors, benefiting from maritime trade and fishing. Now we are looking at dry point settlements. Now this would be the opposite of a wet point settlement. Now when you're looking at this image, you can see that this settlement is located on higher ground. How do we know that? We can see there's a presence of a bank here, right? And in the background, we can see there's water. So now we're going to assume that if there's a heavy rain that occurs, we're going to assume that this water is then going to flood and it's going to come all the way up here to this bank. But because this settlement is located on higher ground, the water is not going to be able to harm anyone or damage their property. So what is the definition of a dry point settlement? So these are settlements located away from water sources because water may be a threat. They are found on higher ground because of flooding. Now we're going to look at our third settlement, which is a defense settlement. So we can see that this settlement is found on the top of a mountain. Obviously, because if you have an enemy that is trying to attack you, you can have enough time to spot them and try to come up with a plan to protect your people and your settlements. So what is the definition of defense settlements? These are settlements positioned for strategic defense against potential threats. These are often situated in elevated areas or near natural barriers. So what are examples of defense settlements? So castles and forts are typically built on hills or cliffs, providing a vantage point for defense. Now we are looking at accessibility settlements. So we have two types. We have type A and type B. So type A is known as a gateway settlement. This settlement can be found in a gap between two hills. So if you can see in this image, there's two hills and the settlement is found in the gap between those two, right? Now your second settlement, which is type B, will be known as a bridging point. What is a bridging point? A settlement will be established at a point along a river that will allow for it to be crossed. So that's generally at an area where the river is very shallow, right? That's why the people are able to cross it. And those are the four types of settlements that you will find in your geography exam. We have now come to the end of the video. I want to thank you so much for learning with me today. Remember, if you have any questions, if you are confused about anything, then please do leave a comment and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Remember, I'm here to help you with anything. If you are confused about anything, then I'm more than happy to help you with that. So if you enjoyed this video, if you found that you've learned new things, then please give the video a like. And if you want more geography content, then please subscribe. To those that are writing soon, I want to wish you all the best. Remember to study hard and just give it your best shot. I know it's very easy for me to say that and only you know how hard it really is. But please do try and I know you're going to do well. So till the next video, please take care. May God bless each and every one of you. Goodbye.